Here we are once again folks with the Compact Presario 2200 series model 2232 it has been a little while since I uploaded it running Windows Millennium I didn't really do much with the ME, uh, the ME video but I do have a few games and such installed on it now as it is now running a different system I love that noise. Uh, it's now running MS-DOS and Windows 3.1 with the correct graphics drivers. S sorry if this looks a bit overshadowed. We have sunshine today. My grandmother was hoping to do a stall today at a flea market that uh, my uncle's partner was putting on, but I think it's been cancelled because although it's sunny, it's still about 5 degrees. And as we can see here, there's the wonderful DOS prompt. Uh, quite fast as a text-based DOS machine. Not too shabby. No direct volume control, but I haven't actually installed a sound card driver as such. It just has the preloaded Win 3.1. Sound Blaster 1.5 driver, but I believe the MIDI music is registered as an ad lib. Uh, I'd have to check the BIOS and see why, because I think you can choose the settings on that. I do have the correct graphics drivers installed now. So actually, this is correctly 640 by 480 with 256 color VGA and is nice and fast. We'll just load up. Uh, as a machine for Win 3.1, it's pretty much on par at the time. It is just a an overpowered 486 essentially. This unit had the what was it now? The 150 megahertz processor was it? God, it's been a little. I can't remember. It's been a while. Um, so it's not that bad as a 486 oops I suppose I'll have to put the disc in uh, I did have or I do have the DOS version of this game installed some people may have already noticed it Space Quest 6 as a general Windows machine like I said it's fine if I installed a proper sound driver it would help but as it is uh, main control panel again sorry about the uh, the light today with the screen <laughs> well that doesn't help anybody Brightness up a little bit. No, I haven't got the light on. Thought I did. It's just dust darn reflections. That's a little better. Yes, so anyway. Uh, drivers. I have the Creative Labs Sound Blaster 1 5 driver. The, 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 the MIDI mapper was pre-installed as is the MIDI sequencer didn't I add... where's cancel where's the... Do, 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 do. yeah there it is, I added the adlib as well to see if that would work I'm not sure if it does so I'll just restart this a sec like I said again as a dust machine it's not bad uh, what lets it down is the hard drive, but also the general speed of the hard drive bus. It is running as a ISA 16, if I remember correctly, and not a PCI based bus. Yeah, maybe the AdLib driver was working then.
Although we get music. Space Quest 6. I never did really play. No, we don't get music. I never did uh, start playing this from when I bought it. And. I never know why I didn't. I enjoyed the old Sierra games, but I suppose at the time, I mean, I've had this disc for 10 years, maybe. I got it from this from a car boot, uh, and I even have Space Quest 1 to 5 collection that I got from a car boot. Uh, was that a car boot? Yeah, I think it was a car boot, that as well. Uh, what am I doing? Right, driver. And I did start to play through Space Quest 1 and stuff. I did find them obviously quite a bit hard, but at the time I was obviously uh, not even the sprightly age of 15, 16, and you don't pay attention when you're that young, I suppose. Not that I pay much attention now, but there we go. And I haven't, like I say, started to play through them. And that will have to change. I think once I've done putting the other operating systems and trying them out on this, I may make this my go-to DOS machine. No, you can't actually skip that. Although I really do want to get the 486 up and running fully again. There we go. Curse this light. Hello, cat. You're having a guest appearance in a couple of my videos. <coughs> there we go. I should really get the tripod mount out, but. You're back in your comfy, reassuring janitorial duds. Why is it zooming in? I didn't tell it to. You pinch yourself to make sure this isn't all a bad dream. You pinch it. Let's head to where the bicycle was. That's always a good one. So you see, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. It probably doesn't like. Am I causing the reflection? I don't know. Yes. Yeah, well that definitely is there. Either way. The bike frame sits and decays along with everything else in this rancid atmosphere. The bike, the butt, the bike, the... Oh, come on. Don't bo Don't bother. You can get rust anywhere. You get a jump on senility by mumbling to yourself. You get a jump on your... You start to say something. Your words call... Your word... Ah, I guess you can't really say it again once you've done it the once. Rats! The cinema appears to be closed. You were really hoping to see Tango and Cash 27. That might put the bloody glare back. What an annoying this is. Ah, there we go. So, yeah, actually, then, uh, there's a DOS machine. For proper DOS gaming, it's quite good. You could never have enough Buckazoid's mop breath. She says, Scrump off, you little felchmonger. She's interesting. She appears to be waiting for someone. 
She might be one of those professional ladies your mom told you about. Space Quest 6 is humorous as hell in a way. That good old Sierra Online comedy. Go ahead and look around, partner. I'll be glad to answer any questions you might have about my fine line of merchandise. Yes, sir, have a look. Yeah, let's get out of there. I've had to play it in Windows, for some reason the actual DOS install didn't want to work. Which didn't, uh, didn't quite understand why. However, we do have good old DOS Classic here. She does have a Windows 95 mode. But since it's a true DOS game, we will exit Windows, and I will let my cat out. Curse you, sunshine! <coughs> uh, make sure my mouse is running. And what was it under? CD. Good old CNC DOS mod. This is one of the original English releases. I actually have both the add-on packs, I believe, for the original release as well, separate versions, and I have this in the first decade, and I believe I have the gold edition, and all that fun. Now, this is purely the original DOS-only version. Brotherhood of Noah, selected. Reinforcements have arrived. Now I never played the PC edition back in the early 90s, well the mid 90s I should say, I played the PlayStation part, which I believe back in the day had better music. Although the PC edition's original music rocks. For General DOS and Win 3.1, this is more than adequate machine, if you choose to put it that way. There are drivers out there that have proper Win 3.1 video drivers. Uh, I ended up having to get them off Driver Guide, which has changed horribly since I last used it. Although since I still have an account, I'm allowed to download stuff for free. You just have to do it their stupid way. And, yeah, so... I mean, if anyone's interested in a copy of the Media GX drivers, I haven't a bloody make an account with Driver Guide. Just let me give me a shout, you know. Let me know, and I'll just email them to you, or whatever. Because yeah, it's waste of bloody space now. And we will do that. Click. New 
construction option building. Construction complete. New construction option building. And this is the maximum resolution. I believe it was a sultry 320 by 240. Pure DOS mode. And I have it running at max speed. Why wouldn't you this day and age? Construction Just get the odd little bit of slow down, but I suppose nothing that people wouldn't have had back in the day. Uh, there's no command groups, if I remember right, or is there? Yes, there are. There are command groups. Machine Gunners! So much violence! Oh, the humanity! I love the fact that the screen shakes violently when everything blows up in CNC. And I love the music. Is his name Frank? Kilpaki. I'm not pronouncing that right, I know that for a fact. So, yeah, I'll leave it here. Uh, not a bad system for running DOS, especially if you get the VGA drivers for Windows 3.1 and MS DOS mode can be fully Visa compliant. Sound, if you install a proper Sound Blaster driver, which I might do just before I'm finished with this install, I believe you'll get proper MIDI synthesis and everything then. I just need to check the bias to make sure that the parts are set right. And then it is pretty much a good to go system. Take out the Western Digital Bigfoot, the good old five and a quarter inch hard drive, put in a compact flash drive maybe, or some mod more modern quieter drive. You only need a good four gig anyway in this system, so make it pretty quiet then. And you'll be set. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube blagging. Any comments, questions, please ask. Loop me third out.